Welcome back, guys, to Resident Evil 2, Part 2. As usual, I hope you can see this fine and well enough once I get it set up. I think I did it pretty well. And every single time I start an episode, I say that, and every single time I think on my head, I wish I had some good ass equipment. Because I think you guys would enjoy it a lot better if it was like, you know, just much higher <coughs> value. Like, you know what I mean, quality. You know the words. Words are hard. I know, I know some words, but. Did I already come up here? Oh no, that's Resident Evil 3 that the guys are up here. Never mind. I was getting confused for a second. <laughs> Silly goose. Alright, yeah, I knew there were handgun bullets behind there because I know we're all... Because I played this game. I, well, nah, I was not kidding when I said I've beaten this game at least 40 times in my life. So I know where everything's at. And I know that if you check Rebecca's desk 50 times, you're going to get Wesker's photo of, of... Or if you check Wesker's... Yeah, Wesker's desk 50 times, you'll get a photo of Rebecca in a basketball outfit. I'm not going to do that shit, though, because I don't feel like wasting my goddamn time. Everybody already knows it. Everybody who knows this game has already seen it. And if you haven't, just look it up on the internet if you're that interested. Or do it yourself if you have the game. All you have to do is dig examine the desk. It's about 50 times. I don't know if it's 50 exactly, because I feel like sometimes I've done it 48 and it's given it to me. I feel like sometimes I've done it 52 and it's given it to me. Whatever, it's 50 times. And then you get photo, you get you get film, and then you know what you do with it. You develop it, and it's a picture of Rebecca. Yay! It, it's a cool, it's a cool little Easter egg, but I'm not gonna do it right here because it's gonna take like fucking an extra two minutes. The clicking, and then the developing of the film, and then putting it away, and blah blah blah, and then, oh, I don't want to do all that. What have we got here? The reason I'm skipping them right now is because I think they give you another shotgun in here. They sure do. So, what I'm going to do is use those three shotgun shells on those guys out there. Because I'm never going to use that shotgun again. Smart, huh? See, I'm a smart, I'm a smart motherfucker. I wish I hadn't brought that herb, though. <laughs> Unless there's only one other thing to get, which I think there is. Because there are, besides checking Wesker's desk 50 times, there are, right here, some bullets. I know everything in this game, I'm telling you. I know it all. There, I checked it once. I think it's cool. I think it's so cool how it says the exact same thing and has the exact same pictures in Resident Evil 2 and over here. One of them reads, Marks and Contents winner, Chris Redfield. It's so cool. But in Resident Evil 3, you know the people's deaths. Like, this is Barry's desk, that's Wesker's. This one's Chris's. This one's Jill's. And this one's Rebecca's. And right now, Chris's is important because... Oh, hold on one second. Because, uh, that's what I need to get underneath the book. Well, the book tells us that we don't have any other reason to be here anymore, which is what Leon's about to say, and then that thing is what we take to the main hall to put in that thing, and we get a key. I think it's the spade key, if I remember correctly. Leon! If I do remember correctly, will that please prove to you that I played this game 40 times? It's good to see you're still among the living. No, it's not. Fuck you. It we're... looks like we're not going to find your brother here after all. Yeah, but what are the odds he'd be at the RPD also? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Rita, There's hurry no up. reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Yeah, fuck the survivors, man. I know you're trying to be nice. And you're a cop, One last but... thing. Here's a radio. Take it. Get the fuck out of there yourselves. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Although they do, they do find survivors. Claire finds uh, Sherry. Leon finds Ada, who isn't really a... She's... Yeah, she's a survivor. I can't believe what is happening to this city. I can't 
can't believe what is happening to this but, uh, I don't know. I don't want to spoil anything if you don't know. And look at that. Three zombies. Perfect. Perfect! I'm so good. I'm, uh, I, I'm bragging too much. But that that was pretty awesome though. That, that I, there just happened to be three zombies. Let's see, spade. Okay, yeah, it is gonna be the spade key because I remember you have to come back up here after you get it. So I was right. It's gonna be spade key that I get after I use that unicorn circle thingy. That was a weird sentence to say, but I said it, and I do not regret it. But I am gonna fed up with it, and I'm gonna set up with it, and I'm gonna get up with it, and I'm gonna let up with this game. And Nemesis crashes out of this window on Resident Evil 3. Which is weird, because the first half of Resident Evil 3 takes place before Resident Evil 2, and then when Jill goes in the coma, that's when Resident Evil 2 happens, and then Resident Evil 3 takes place after Resident Evil 2, after Jill's coma. I don't know why I came back in here. I guess to put stuff away. Like this worthless ass shotgun that I'm never gonna use again. <laughs> this. Definitely this. I am gonna keep the shotgun because I'm gonna murder that. Um. What's his name? Liquor. I'm gonna murder him with the shotgun. With the shotgun. Did I get this already? Yeah, I got it. So, I don't think there's any uh, zombies other way. Except for the ones that are the jump scare zombies that don't hurt you, they just grab you. Alright, let me see what this There's a spade door upstairs. This one's the diamond. Just checking, just so I know. Like, no matter how many times I play this game, I always get confused on which doors are do which ones, because there's four of them. Four different kinds, I mean. I wonder if that really hurts you. It's never brought me down from finding a coffin before. Ah, I'm so scared! <laughs> okay, now that you did that, let me go kill this Licka. Two reasons why. One, so I can pick up the green herb in peace, and two, I'm gonna have to go in the spade room in this room in here too, so. Look at that. And people and people that suck at this game make it look like it's hard. Psh, didn't even touch me, fool. Oh yeah, I forgot you can't automatically turn on. Yeah, another spade door. But all that's in there is ink ribbon and a crank and a file. So I, and I don't need none of those things right now, but I guess I'll grab them. And did I grab a small key yet? I didn't. But I don't think I'm going to use the small key on this one because there's another one that a little bit later on that gives you uh, handgun parts, I, I if I'm remembering right. And the handgun parts make your handgun shoot three at a time if you want it to, but you can also make it just shoot regular, so. But it's, it, it's, it's good to have, trust me. I should put away my shotgun too. Actually, no, I shouldn't. But I should definitely put away one of these herbs, or both of these herbs, actually. Yeah, both of them. <laughs> Check, because it is definitely the spade. Alright. Oh, shit, what should I do? Should I... Oh, fuck. Alright, I think I know what I'm going to do first. I'm going to go somewhere that I, I sh don't have to go right now, but I'm going to do it anyways just to get it over with. Which means I don't need you. I, get, I don't even need this, but I, I guess I should take it just in case. No. No. I'm confident enough in my abilities. I don't need it. It's just zombies. It's just a bunch of... It's just a fuckload of them, though. <laughs> 
but look how much chain gun ammo I have, so I think I'm good. I believe... Uh, I don't know, we'll see. There's a bunch of zombies here, and they're all grouped together, and that's the best time to use a shotgun. Yeah. Shotgun ammo, so Walking, there's still some alive. This one right here. Told you. Because he wouldn't have auto aimed at him if he wasn't still alive. There's the other reason why I didn't bring any herbs with me because I'm going to pick some up. Plus, look at the date 28. Or 29,000. I didn't that into it, so. I don't know. Anyways, zombies. Also, I want to show you an Easter egg that I didn't even know after all these years. I didn't know this Easter egg existed until, like, within this last year or two. I think it was, like, over a year ago I found out about it. Oh, shit. It's right there to the left. Red rum. You see it from the shining? Red rum. All you can see is the red the red and then the R. You can't see the um part. I never noticed that before. That's so awesome. You see it there? Right there. Red rum. But then when you go to the next screen, you can't really see the rest of it, I don't think, anyways. But yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? I'll answer that for you. Yes, it is. There's the diamond door. A red herb is right here, which I mean, combined with... I think I'll combine it with the shotgun, right? And eh, maybe the green herb. That's a first aid spray, practically. What's this one? I think this is a club door. Yep. And I think this door I can just go right into. And if I'm not wrong, there's bullets and a small key. Please let me be right so I can prove how much I know about this game. Small key, one for one so far. Bullets? Maybe I'm wrong about the bullets. Damn it, I'm wrong about the bullets, aren't I? There's nothing else in here, really? Just a small key? A small key is basically a, a lockpick that you can only use once. That's all this room has, no, nothing else. It does give me the fucking... Well, if I use it on the one that's... that I The desk that I already found that's at the beginning of the game. The beginning hallway. That's just gonna give me like 30 handgun bullets, which is nice. But... I'll wait till I find the second one to go to that one because, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Whatever, I'll, if I whichever one I come across first, I'll use it on. Because, um, nah, fuck that. I want the parts. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make this only like a 20 minute video because. Oh shit, they're close. Still ain't getting me though, motherfuckers. Yeah, I see your ass down there.
Shotty gun shells. I'll take them. I'll take them. Sure. Shit. I might actually use two of these. I don't want to, but it's because of this right here. There's help behind here, and I don't feel like coming back and getting it. Actually, I'll be back here, so I can leave the other one. That's fine. Have I gotten bit or anything? No, I haven't. Fuck it, I'll just use it. Damn it, I didn't even use it right on the second guy. I was supposed to go for the headshot. Well, at least it only took one more boy. Damn it. I don't want that though because I forgot there's an ink ribbon right here too. Damn it. I should have picked I should have picked up the herb and then combined it. Oh well. I'm going to come back this way anyway, so. <laughs> you know what he's pointing at? That guy that's laying on the floor over there. Which I'm never ever ever going to go kill him. But I am going over here to get these handgun bullets. That's on this guy. How many? Fifteen. Oh, I should have checked what door that was. Oh, well. Because I have to come back this way anyways. Yeah, more green herbs. Actually, this is useless because you can't... Get, there's two down there and one up top. So there's three green herbs in this room. And then one in the room over here. So I'm loaded now. I kind of wish I wouldn't have used those two shotgun shells, but whatever. It's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be a heart. See, called it, guessed it, got it right. I'm smart, smart like a heart that needs to fart. Y'all already know that I'm made of art. Are you going to pee? I am thinking about playing Little Big Planet Three. Um. Let's see, uh, let's, yeah, yeah, I love his footsteps, where am I going, back up here, that's right, fuck it, I'll just do this one first, oh yay, it better be 30, Fuck your 15 minutes. I'll take it though. Little CD, man. It's gotta be in that order. Gun, bullets, health, and key items. OCD. I'll tell you what. How much time do we got? 18 minutes? Shit. Alright. That's alright. I can make it up here in time. Well, no I can't because I'm going to do this. So, I'm going to do this and then go save in the dark room. Alright. There's files right here. Fuck the files. The ink ribbon I believe is right here. Jesus Christ, I really do remember everything in this game. Holy shit. Like, I am literally a guide for this game. I, I could write a guide for this game. I really could. I know everything in it, except for that red rum thing, but that doesn't matter. That's just an Easter egg. <laughs> but, like, I, I seriously could write a guide for this game. I know every fucking thing in it. There's nothing else in this room, I promise you. I just picked up all three things there are. Or did I? No, I, I'm not gonna be that cocky. I'll admit that I, there there could be something I've never gotten before, but I'm pretty sure I've I know of everything in the entire fucking game. For Leon A and Claire A, 
for Leon B and Claire B, not so much. I, I think there might be some stuff I don't know, because obviously I haven't played those as much. But Claire A and Leon A, I played much more. Because, trust me, Claire B and Leon B are vastly different than Leon. Well, I mean, not tremendously different, but definitely different, you know. Items are in different spots. They give you different stuff. You start out in different spots. Way different spots. Like, you, like you start out way far away from where you are here when you're on Leon, Leon B or Claire B. Alright, I'm going to stop it here, guys. Crank, I'm not going to need you for a while. So far, in fact, that I'm going to put you below the jewels because I'll need those before I'll need you, Crank. Um, health. Will I need health? No, I won't because I'm confident in my abilities. Plus, when I start up again, it'll be just after saving, so if something did happen, I'll be alright. Plus, I don't believe I've gotten bit once, except for maybe like at the very beginning when I was just running from the enemies, but ever since I got to the RPD, I don't think I've gotten bit or hurt once yet, even by the liquor. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Love you guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, um, and tell your mom and dad you love them. And if you don't have parents for whatever reason, I'm very sorry. Um, just uh, tell your loved ones that you love them. And tell them to subscribe. <laughs> I'm just playing, but that would be cool if they subscribe. Love you guys.